Hey everyone, welcome to Camping with Steve. This one has been on my list for about 40 years. I'm gonna camp in a blanket fort in an actual campground. I didn't expect so much snow, but this video was planned ahead of time, so I'm doing it anyways. I'm not gonna wait for the snow to melt. Gotta go find some blankets from a thrift store. Okay, quick. Oh, Everything you bet. Perfect. Uh, 4864. Perfect colors. Found a good spot, paid the fine. Time to go camping. I found the perfect campsite. The trees are just where I want them to be to set up this blanket fort. But on the other side of that log, there's a walking trail and people were literally just walking past there. That'll be a good 10 feet from where the front of my tent is. And I don't wanna scare people. Uh, there's a fine line between this looking creepy and whimsical. And I wanna look like I'm out here having fun and not setting up an encampment. So with no further ado, let's uh, find out where this ridge line is going to go and what type of a height. I'm guessing probably about that high because I'm using queen uh, queen size sheets and if they come down at a, a nice angle it should work. To safeguard the tree I'm using hammock straps around it and then we'll ratchet strap nice and tight between these trees and set up right here. That looks good to me. all the blankets nice and clean. To start with, we'll string up my favorite one. This one has all the nice canoes and everything. These really aggressive clamps. Like, uh, use these for your clothesline if you live in tornado country. blanket I find exudes a beautiful forest green. Now, I'm not using these as bedding, it's strictly shelter, but if I was I'd be washing these because it's got that thrift store smell to it, which uh, you know, some people might like, but uh, it's always good practice to wash these things after you buy them. I can't believe this is true, but I've slept in worse. Let's see if I can get a wall up here. Yeah. Looks are starting to roll in from the serious campers here. Hasn't anybody seen a grown man sleeping in a blanket fort before? Hello. They were all out of tents. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Will do. I'll put down this sleeping bag. Opened up as kind of a nice floor. Oh. -ho. Definitely seems cozy in here. It's nice and quiet too. Blocks out the noise of the neighbors. I like this. Deluxe air mattress tonight. My hip was destroyed after that last camping trip. So I deserve a nice relaxing night on the gourmet self-inflating air mattress. I'll put the, the door on the front of it here uh, before bed for sure because the trail is right there. And 
This is a fine little home. Cheers, everybody. See, all you need is a couple of ratchet straps, a few blankets, and some really aggressive clothespins. You got yourself a makeshift tent right there. There's good, wholesome, normal campers over there with fancy gear and campers. Um, and to show you how close I am to the walking trail, like that's it here. And we're gonna walk down it because it goes to the beach. But yeah. We are on the walking trail and if somebody walks by, that's what they see. Good thing I don't have to be stealthy here. I can see how you could spend hours going for a long walk on the beach, but it's not going to get the snow off the picnic table. Got to get ready for dinner eventually, and in the daylight is a good time to do it. I drop stuff in the dark. I've had to blast a little white noise because uh, the folks in the other campsite are playing copyrighted music and uh, YouTube doesn't like that one bit. But we get a fire going and uh, hopefully they tucker themselves out and we can uh, get back to the soothing sounds of the ocean beside us. They've turned down the music, so that's great. They're still talking a little loud, but I don't mind that. I uh, got my flashlights down before it's too dark. Garlic bread, because I'm having salad tonight. The ingredients are in the car so that they don't freeze. I've got uh, lettuce and cucumbers, whatever's supposed to go into a salad. It's right around freezing, so zero Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Walk in the park, guys. It's actually very warm, or it feels warmer, uh, out of the wind, inside of here. And I'll get uh, another part on the front clipped on here uh, relatively shortly, but uh, until bedtime I like to see the fire right there. It doesn't get any better than this. I never thought I would be unironically dicing a shallot. Just doing a simple halibut uh, salad with white wine cream sauce. Of course it's not quite camping with Steve unless you're deglazing your pan fried halibut pan with a little pinot grigio. Shallots. White wine vinegar. Oh, that one's still not even opened yet.
let it reduce. I gotta let this cool down before I throw a bunch of cream in here. Got this spring mix with spinach in it. Mmm. It's only half frozen, so that's pretty good. Oh, I don't know what any of this is. It's okay. Well, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm gonna put in some more familiar friends. Uh, you know. This is what I'm making myself eat tonight. These leaves look like something I would be weeding out of the garden, but they don't taste bad. The fish is delicious. Pretty successful night. Uh, ate healthy, which is something um, new. And I'm gonna try to peg up the, the front of this tent here. Got my thumb there a little bit. Yeah. Blanket tent is incredibly cozy. Uh, right out the door. The fire over there. And uh, a forest. Blankies, blankies everywhere. Um, really cozy. Wish I did this 35 years ago. Um, this is amazing. <laughs> Almost like blackout curtains. I'm not going to know exactly what time it is in the morning, but when I get up, we'll start the day and uh, see what happens. Um, thanks for following along. I'm going to shut this light off here and hit the hay. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. From now on, I'm camping in blanket forts. This is awesome. It's enough insulation that it keeps you pretty warm. Uh, keeps the sound down to a minimum. You still get that feeling of fresh air and crispness. Uh, this is thoroughly enjoyable. And yeah, you don't need much to go camping. Just some blankets and a ratchet strap and some clothespins, really. Uh, I wouldn't do it in mosquito territory or if it's raining, but this was great. Looks like there's some snow starting to fall, and uh, just gonna cook some quick breakfast here. I was gonna cook a quick brunch and then pack up, but I think I'm gonna stay another night. The blanket fort held up great, and I have nothing to do today, so why not? Make it two nights instead of one, as usual. And that gives me a chance to go through and organize the car, because it is so packed full of camping gear, you wouldn't believe it. Right on. The energy I need to tackle the day. Hmm. I like when the syrup gets on the eggs. So I've got all this gear to organize, and uh, you may assume that the car is empty. No, my friends, the car is not empty. There is still more stuff in the car. But we're gonna condense that. I've got all this camo netting, and it's not folded up. It's just kind of stuffed in a bag. That will get smaller. There's some random tent that I haven't used yet. A uh, little folding stool, hammock. Propane pizza oven. Um, 
This is all just stuff in my car. Got this hunting blind that I hope to use in a stealth camping video. It's uh, you know, super stealthy. If I need just a little bit of uh, camel, if I'm somewhere borderline obvious, this could uh, be good. Other stuff in the car as well. Um, another mattress uh, and all the other cooking gear. So, um, where to begin, right? <laughs> This, this whole bunched up thing here, if it's properly folded, is this size. So that'll clear up some room. It has been an absolutely lazy day. Uh, it's actually quite relaxing. Uh, the campground's not quite deserted. Uh, I'm not the only one foolish enough to be out here in this weather. Uh, however, other people have proper campers and RVs and the like. So, with all those pieces of camo knitting, I think I'm going to have to get a compression bag for them. Because they're so crinkled up that they're not going to fold properly. And I'll be going out next week after another video I have planned. And I'm going to be really going through and organizing the camper, trying to get stuff repaired, installing a new reverse camera on it so that I can reverse easily with, uh, with just one person. It's a little tricky to reverse a, a small trailer like that, uh, especially when you don't know what you're doing, well, which I don't. So a little bit of practice and a camera should make that easier. There was a heavy snowfall warning issued this afternoon. I've been keeping an eye on the radar and it doesn't look too serious, but they're saying that there could be 15 or more centimeters of snow uh, that could be in the neighborhood of five or six inches at worst. And not seeing it yet on the radar, uh, I do have some C-clamps and other things I can use to reinforce the tent fortress uh, if it comes down to that. I will tough it out though. Um, I think I can do this. It might take a lot of hunkering down, but we will see what happens with the weather. It's uh, so far so good. The wind doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm holding off on getting the fire going for this evening. I'm just going to cook some hot dogs tonight. Nice relaxing ordinary night where nothing goes wrong is the plan. I am two days into this blanket fort and it's holding up a lot better than a lot of homemade structures I've made before. Good morning. Looks like a beautiful day out there. And I think it's time for me to get back to reality. I can only hide in my blanket fort for so long. I haven't seen a blanket of snow like this in a fortnight. Um, I guess it's time to take down the blanket fort though. How easy is it going to come down? What could be easier than this? Ta-da! So of course, a shout out to the people who have donated to the blanket fund. Um, much appreciated. And, yeah, this blanket I really like. It got, yeah, it got pretty wet, but uh, that's okay. Off to the laundromat, and uh, that was to be expected. Does not surprise me. And 
yeah, I will keep this one because it's got a bunch of nature things on it. There's uh, there's both uh, both black bears and grizzly bears on here, as well as uh, you know canoes, leaves, trees, the whole bit. Uh, it's actually really a surprise that there was such an appropriate blanket sitting there in the thrift store. And yeah, the other one will get redonated. But uh, this will be good for the camper and a nice memento of my blanket fort adventure. The nice thing about wet blankets is they pack up smaller. Ooh. Made it uh, long enough to get through the night. See, nothing easier than that. Yeah, there's lots of room in here. Yeah, it was a great adventure. Wanted to do this for 40 years now, so I'm glad I finally did. And uh, please try it yourselves. That, that was great, and you don't need a whole lot to go camping, as long as it's not raining and there's not mosquitoes everywhere, or snakes, or anything like that. Uh, but in absolutely perfect prime conditions, that is a sensible shelter. So uh, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, Here's the awkward part. Uh, please subscribe if you're interested in this type of thing. I'll keep it coming. And it's not always like this. It's different every week. Uh, I'll find something silly to camp in or somewhere silly to camp. That's just the name of the game in this stunt camping channel. So thank you all for watching. Thanks for the kind comments. And uh, we're going to see you later. Cheers.